Once again, we visited Carlisle, this time to start our cab ride, which was over the backbone of England, along the border country to Newcastle. Our train was Sprinter number 156472, on the Tyne Trader, which starts at Girvan on the Glasgow Southwestern Stranraya route. Our inspector was, once again, Jim McClelland of Carlisle. New, uh, uh, Newcastle Stranraer. Right. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, really? Well, when it came, I'm waiting. I heard about that. It was reported. <coughs> So he's waiting for us to clear the road. As we dropped down to join the avoiding lines from the west, we passed a 37 hold freight which was booked to follow us. They come from where? Oh, yes, of course, yeah. <coughs> this other sprint is waiting to come in. That'll, that'll be going over the southwest. Sprinters are expected to be allocated to S&C workings in the future. The route diverges to the right at Petrol Bridge. Oh, yeah. You call it Carlisle Central from here, do you? Well, 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 the Midland is which? <laughs> you know, you know, the Midland, the Midland, the Midland. The old Midland shed was over the right hand side. From the right of the, yeah. of the main line, the yeah. 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 Yes, over the river. Oh, yes. Wetherall is on a sharp curve. Its goods yard was on the other side of the River Eden viaduct. There's also this rather fine footbridge. Mm. Yes, the viaduct is nice. Oh, yes, it is. Which river is it? The Eden. It is the Eden. Mm. Of course it must be, mustn't it? It's, it's a favourite stretch, stretch for the summer. Right? A lot of salmon in there, that stretch. Another viaduct here. This is a. Oh, this is just a little stream. Or whatever. Yes. This is a, this is very heavy. Yes. yes. The. Uh, well, there was one down there. The locals wanted it reopened, but uh, they weren't successful. This is quite a rare track. A stick, but it's regular for a freight train. I can imagine. Are we still climbing here? Yes. yes all the way up. Where, where do they tend to have the worst problems? On that bit, 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 uh, bit, 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 the gates will be, uh, yeah, the gates will be wrong at now with I am A short branch once ran north from Brampton Junction. Is the old box still sitting No, that's been gone for a long while. This is Milton's signal box. Is that switched out? Oh, no, it's got a man. Yes, there's a signal man in. Is that uh, late? Half barriers are open crossings. Oh, well, another one. Yeah. It, uh, Again, it, we were slowed at way. low roll with a warning of track repairs and maintenance ahead. The crossing here still boasts the unique northeastern gates with road wheels. Oh, no, we're going. We're going. That's really what they call the top of the hill, no matter. Yes, yes. So it's been climbing all the way up from yeah, Carlisle for the freight train. Yeah. Up at Denton, uh, and this is Denton Village. And then the next... This is a box that's switched out, isn't it? No, it's just, it's just for the crossing. Oh, I see, yes. So it's... And, and then we have Denton School, it's an open crossing. Yeah. This is... Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, dear, yeah. Are there a few different... There's still a little bit, yes. 
Holt Whistle was the junction for Alston, a branch which survived beaching but was closed in the 1970s. All traffic to the south has now been lifted. On the right, sir. Holt Whistle's Waterloo Tunnel is now the only one on the line. One at Corbridge was opened out many years ago. No coal mine. 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 Yes, it's only, it's only used during engineering work yeah. and cases of uh, emergency. That's a nice signal, isn't it? Yes. Uh, but, the, uh, uh, but your train runs in the yard, so they may have to go to the yard to uh, relieve it. Yes. But a lot of the... A lot of the freight, especially at night time, is just change, change, uh, change crew. At car. The River Tyne uh, splits into north and south well, rivers west of Hudson. The, old, uh, the Border Counties Railway used to run to Rickerton Junction up the North Tyne Valley. Tyne, and up there, it runs into the North Tyne up there. Oh, I see. Yeah. And on the uh, lovely hanging baskets on the. Uh, the, the uh, Hexham is by far the most important town along the route. Its station still boasts a goods yard and a stone terminal. Most of these will be going to the metro. This is quite a lot of originating freight here too, isn't it? Local trains from Newcastle terminate at Hexham, serving the small stations between the towns. The line still sports some superb northeastern overline signal cabin. It opened from Newcastle to Hexham in 1835. We're just about one down. Well, we're, uh, we have a bit from Metro. Yeah. From Metro, we've got 10 minutes. Well, you don't need 10 minutes. There's a lot of freight in the yard there. A lot of tank rail. They reckon that's good stone, that. I believe. Right there, yeah. mm. Where does it come from? I'm not quite sure where the quarry is. It has a little quarry down here, Harold. Uh, uh, I'm not quite uh, yeah. uh, Bridge. Interesting bridge. They've all just been painted up. Yes. I'm the same colour. Problems with sprinters and DMUs have led to strange combinations. Wylam is situated opposite George Stevenson's cottage, which is on the north side of the river. A parallel railway ran on the other bank, but was closed in the 60s. It's very, very, uh, it's more or less finished. Is it? Bladen was the junction for the original route via Scotswood. The line crossing to the north side of the river here. We used to put the, call in, uh, the route now followed was originally uh, freight only. To the signal box. Yes. That's where we used to go via Scotswood. That was the oh, old see, railway the up river. there. Yes. And we used to go over over the Scotswood Bridge. Uh, the bridge is still. Uh, 
Gateshead Metro Centre was opened in 1988. It serves one of the largest out-of-town shopping centres in the country. At the moment, uh, for the garden centre at Norwood, they're, uh, they're uh, laying, laying a railway cable. There are now two stations on the former freight-only route. Dunstan opened in 1986. Uh, just to, just to be 25 miles an hour. That was the original, yes. The route ahead leads to Tyne Yard. Rail freight has recently announced it will be concentrating northeast freight on Teesside, with a consequent reduction in Tyne Yard. The line passes under the East Coast Main Line outside Gateshead before joining it at King Edward Bridge Junction outside the former diesel depot. Oh, it's, it's a complete rebuild, isn't it? Built. And then I would think when we get the family wave for these paddles, they'll uh, do the electrification. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, structures up like. I think it's, it's over 30 million. Depot, which isn't anymore. It's a diesel depot, which no, isn't it's anymore. It's still a fueling point. It's a fueling point, that's all. But uh, what is it then? Yes, you know, we get the uh, 47s and 31s on for fuel. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. We're going in 11. Unfortunately, the narrow cab window prevented us from getting a view of the new platforms to the south of Newcastle. Trackwork alterations are obvious. The former Scotswood line came in from the left. No, there's nothing here. It's, uh, it's at the uh, it's at to the end. Believe now, back over there. Back over that. You'll be going high level bridge. Yeah, yeah. Ten minutes later, we departed from Newcastle at the East End via the high-level bridge in a pacer bound for Carlisle. This is available as a full cab ride, number 26. Uh, it'll be, uh, it's nothing to do with this, though.